It's a gift which gives us the capability to make the right choice or decision. If knowledge is power, then wisdom is using that power the right way. Kasi kahit na marami kang kat, uh, matalino ka, kung hindi mo alam kung paano gamitin the right way, useless decision. Amen! Amen. 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 And then, we can be educated or intelligent, but without wisdom, our education or intelligence may only be in vain. An intelligent person can earn more fame, money, fortune, but a wise one could earn more friends, honor, and God's faith. Amen! Amen. Okay, so sabi, sabi ko nga kay Brother Paul nung napag-usapan namin yung topic na ito dahil nga sa karanasan, 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 karanasan na, namin o oh, kay lalo na, lalo na ako sa yung ano ba yung tungkol sa mga online investments o okay, kay sabi na natin easy money So kahit gaano ka pala kagaling or ka smart hindi po globa. <laughs> Kahit gaano ka ka smart at alino, kung wala ka pong karunungan na galing sa Diyos, maluluko ka at maluluko. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. Yes po. So, wag lang wag lang wag lang po tayong mag de, de, uh, depend sa uh, talino o kay uh, mga yung mga napag-aaralan lang natin. Kundi humingi tayo ng karunungan sa Panginoon para gamitin 'yon ng tama. Yeah. Okay, so there is wisdom from people and there is also wisdom from God. The first may be packed with eloquence but less in substance. While the latter may not sound beautiful but full of power. Parang si Goliath and David. Diba? Kahit na ang laki-laki mong tao, kung wala kang wisdom. <laughs> <laughs>
Tama po ba? Amen. Kasi kung walang trials na, na ano sa buhay nangyayari sa buhay mo, hindi ka matututo. Amen. Amen. An implication is that we are not yet complete. Part of our incompleteness is our lack of wisdom. So if we do lack wisdom, we are to ask it from God. God is creator of the universe. As such, He is also the creator of all good things, all beautiful emotions, all form of intelligence, and all admirable attributes, including wisdom. He is not only the creator of these things, He is also the giver of these things. And the best of it is, He gives freely. Amen. God knows what we want to grow in with. God knows that we want to know to grow in wisdom. So He is ready and willing to give it to us. So parang yung mga bata ba, yung umiiyak sila dahil hindi nagbigay yung gusto nila. So paano ba malalaman ng uh, parents na uh, alam nila kung ang ibigay nila kung hindi mo uh, hilingin or hindi mo sabihin. So it's the same thing. We have to tell God. Amen. We have to ask from God. Amen. Hindi yung mag expect na lang tayo, alam, Diyos nga siya, alam niya. No, we have to tell Amen. or we have to ask. Yes. Amen. Okay, so it says, it says here also that God gives wisdom generously. He has unlimited supply. It's up for the taking. Go, go to God. Get some free wisdom. Further, He gives wisdom to all without reproach or uh, reservations. God gives wisdom to anyone and everyone that needs it. He does not discriminate. Yeah. Some Christians make the mistake of saying, But I'm not worthy for God to grant my request. I've, I've sinned too many times. I've failed Him so often. So I can't go to Him and ask for wisdom. But that is not an, an excuse for disobedience and unbelief. Every Christian has sinned. Not only you, but including all Amen. of us. Amen. Every Christian has failed. Every Christian is unworthy. Amen. We do not come to God based on our unworth, based on our worthiness. We come to God on the merit of Christ, of Amen. Jesus Christ, and He shed blood. Amen. Since God commands us to ask Him for wisdom, we are disobedient and unbelieving if we do not ask. So we have to ask. Amen. We can seek wisdom and find it in God. No Christian should miss out this opportunity. There's no need to feel that we have all the wisdom that we need because in fact we don't have it. At the same time, there's no need to be ashamed of your lack of wisdom because God will indeed give us wisdom if we seek it. God wants us to be wise and He is generous in giving out wisdom. Next, we see, okay, so that is for verse 5. So now let's uh, see the last part of the verse 5. And it will be given Him. So God will indeed give it to us. Okay, and then next, we see the manner in which we are to seek wisdom. Tingnan ko natin yung verse 6. But let him ask in faith with no doubt, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. Okay, so, pangalawa po, we are told when it comes to seeking wisdom, we are to seek in faith. Okay, so, be faithful when asking and praying for wisdom from God. Cast all your doubts away and believe in him. In other words, don't ask wisdom while you disobey His commands. That is in fact an act of hypocrisy and unfaithfulness. <laughs> Believing in God and being faithful to Him means you always keep and obey His commandments. First of all, James is not saying that we need to be perfect Christians. He is saying that we need to be committed Christians. We shouldn't be unsettled between the things of God and the things of the world. Mm -hmm. We can't be going back and forth. Mm -hmm. We need to be committed to God and to trust that He is who He says He, he is and He can do what He says He can do. Mm -hmm. That is the type of faith that Jesus spoke of when He healed people. Jesus often said, believe and it will be done. Mm -hmm. 
Do we believe that God can give us wisdom? Amen. 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 That's the point. Complete trust in God and His ways. Don't doubt. That's the type of faith that we are to have. Secondly, alam niyo po ba yung uh, theology or hearsay na name it and claim it? Name your price. Name your price. Name it and claim it. Name your price. Okay. So this is not what James is talking about. Name it and claim it theology says that if I name something, if I want something, then all that I have to do is claim it as my own and it will be mine. Kaya ang pag nakita ko yung magandang sasakyan sa labas, ay mapapa sa akin din. Amen! Can you claim it and claim it theology? Okay, James is saying that if God commands something, and if God gives that gift generously, then His people are ask, are to ask Him for it. Our faith should not be in ourselves, but in our in God. If He wants to give something according to His will, then He will give it. God may not want you to be the most handsome or beautiful person in this room. He may not want you to be that to have that house, the car, the cell phone that you are dreaming for. He may not want you to work with high-paying companies here in Kuwait. He may not want you to marry the dream girl that you've been liking before. <laughs> but you can bend or you can, pwede mong itaya kung anong meron ka ngayon because God wants you to have wisdom. So pray for it in faith. Pananampalataya lang po. That's the kind of faith that we are to have. We are to fight for the belief that God will do what He has promised. Amen. In the midst of trials, in the midst of confusion, when we lack wisdom, we are to ask for wisdom from God who gives generously. When we seek wisdom, we are to seek in faith. Amen. Okay, okay so mabilis lang po ito dahil alam po gutom po tayo. <laughs> Okay, so now let's look at verse 7 to 8. Okay, my time po ako dito, 17 minutes. Look at verse uh, 7 to 8, let's read it. For that person must not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He is a double minded man, and the evil in all his ways. Okay, so finally. When we are seeking wisdom, we are also to seek stability. Ano pang stability? Katatagan. Okay, so humingi ng katatagan or hanapin ng katatagan. Okay, so James tells us that the person who doubts is double-minded and unstable. Dalawang utak, tama po. Lagi kang duda. Kung kaya nag-pray ka na nga, tapos may pagdududahan mo ba? Okay, sometimes we are like that. Ang hirap aminin, pero yun po ang totoo. Okay, that is, being a double-minded and unstable is not what we want. We want to be stable. We we are to seek stability. Why should we not expect to receive anything from God? Because we are double-minded and unstable. Well, why are we considered double-minded and unstable if we doubt? Basically, we profess that we trust God. If so, if we don't in fact trust Him, we should not expect to receive anything from Him. Nagdududa ka, tapos ini-expect mo na ibibigay yung kahilingan mo. Cannot both, we cannot both trust and not trust God at the same time. Yeah. Parang namamangka sa dalawang mga. Sabi ni Lord, ano ba talaga, kuya? Ano ba talaga ang gusto mo? That is a double-minded and unstable attitude. To be double-minded means that we have two minds. One that trusts God and the other that does not. James point, James point here is that we can not both say that God is our creator of all things and can do all things and at the same time doubt that He can provide us wisdom. 
This rebuke by James does not point to a single moment of doubt, but a consistent doubt. Yung, hindi lang pamigsan-migsan, yung talagang consistent na pagbibida. Sa lahat ng James is talking about an inconsistent person who claims to be a believer but does not really live it out. This is an inadequate faith. If we are not convinced that God's ways are best for us, why are we even asking Him for anything? Yes. However, the person who trusts in God, he or she can ask God for wisdom and surely God will provide it. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's sum the message tonight according to our text in James chapter 1 verses 5 to 8. Ano po to? May time po talaga kasi sinabihan po ako ni Pastor na talagang uh, 20 to 25 minutes. So, 20 minutes na. Okay, so what are some what are some ways to be wise? So, unang-una po, sa verse 5, let's seek wisdom. Humingi ng karunungan sa Diyos. Hindi po yung karunungan ng tao. Kasi magiging si Gulayat po yan. Karunungan ng tao. Okay, pangalawa po, sa verse 6, seek and faith. Humingi ng may pananampalataya. And then number three, the six stability. Yeah. From verse seven to eight, wag pong magiging double minded. Yeah. Or kaya wag mamangka sa dalawang ino. Yes. Okay. So magiging matatag lang po tayo. Okay. So conclusion. Hindi po hindi sa ino. We should ask God, and if He is the giver of wisdom, He is certainly also the giver of faith. God wants us to have faith, so we should ask Him to increase our faith.
chapter 1 verses 5 to 8. Happy birthday to 